Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this video, we will learn an opacity widget along with its real-time use and performance impact of opacity on the application. So without wasting time, let's get started. Sometimes on UI, we may need to control transparency of widget or a specific part of the UI. The opacity widget is made for achieving this. This widget requires a child in the form of a widget whose opacity or the transparency has to be controlled. And for controlling the transparency, opacity has a property called opacity that requires a double kind of value. The value for this opacity property can range from 0.0 to 1.0. Here, 0.0 indicates your widget is completely transparent and nothing will be displayed on screen. So let me save the code. You can see now this particular image will disappear. And if I change, say, this value to 1.0, so 1.0 indicates your widget is completely opaque and it will be printed on screen as it is without ha having any transparency. So that's the reason you can see this image is shown on screen as it is. So let me use some other values, say, for example, 0.5. So it is going to print or it is going to show the image with, a, say, 50% transparency. Let me use 0.2 so that it will be, again, more transparent. Let me use, say, 0.9 so it will be less transparent. So not just an image, you can control the opacity of a specific part or specific widget of your application. Now let's talk about the real-time use of opacity. The application like image editing definitely requires to control the opacity of an image. Whenever we have an application whose specific part or specific feature has to be shown only in the paid version or say only in the uh, in-app purchase kind of versions, so that particular part or that particular feature we can show using the opacity. So that user will understand that this particular part is not currently accessible we have to do some extra activity or we have to pay for that one and that will be enabled in application now it's time to get serious and learn about the performance impact of opacity on application basically opacity widget paints its child into an intermediate buffer it means whenever we use the opacity widget so whatever widget that we have placed inside opacity it won't be printed or displayed on the screen as it is rather it will be first printed or it will be just placed inside the intermediate buffer and some processing will be done inside that one once the processing is done then your child gets blamed back on the screen and it will be painted with some partial transparency so whatever transparency that we have provided with the opacity value so with that kind of uh, transparency your widget will then get printed uh, on the screen so make sure that your widget is doing some processing means there is some processing happening on your widget so uh, for that reason uh, definitely it will reduce the performance of your application for the value 0, 0.0 child won't be painted on the screen and for the value 1.0 child gets painted on the screen as it is without using the intermediate buffer so we can say for value 0.0, .0 and 1.0 there is no performance impact on the application but for other values Due to the use of intermediate buffer, use of opacity is relatively expensive in terms of performance. So for an application, having an animation with opacity may not be efficient because each frame has to rebuild. In such a case, it is recommended to use animated opacity or a fade transition widget. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. If you really found this video helpful and knowledgeable, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.